Tonight, there's an investigation underway into a reported case of Legionnaire's disease at San Diego State. As a precaution, the university confirms it has closed down its exercise and nutritional sciences building for the time being. CBS 8's Richard Allen has more on what can cause Legionnaire's and a look at other recent outbreaks here in California. Well, that's right. SDSU has not clarified yet whether the person diagnosed with Legionnaire's disease is a student, staff, or faculty member, but we do know that they are now away from campus and are currently recovering. It's yeah. the first time I hear about it. Well, I hadn't heard of it prior to like right now. SDSU's decision to temporarily close its exercise and nutritional sciences building while investigating a reported case of Legionnaire's disease has raised questions about this relatively rare disease among students who support the move to shut down the building for now. Uh, I think it's good that they're taking precaution, you know, not that many people know about the disease or because I didn't know, but I'm glad that people are starting to be informed. Legionnaire's disease is a severe form of pneumonia. People get sick inhaling microscopic water droplets containing the Legionella bacteria. It is not contagious. So the symptoms are fevers and dry, and people will have a dry cough. Dr. Viji Sankar is chief of pulmonary medicine at Kaiser Permanente. She says that for healthy people, Legionnaire's disease is highly treatable with antibiotics, although it can be more concerning when diagnosed in older or immunocompromised patients. Usually it's uh, symptoms within 24 to 48 hours of having some cough, fever, shortness of breath. Um, a classic presentation of pneumonia without a lot of, uh, of phlegm associated with it. Exposure to contaminated water or soil usually causes Legionnaire's disease, according to Dr. Sankar, who says it's possible this building has been shut down while they test the air conditioning system. Last year in Napa County, at least a dozen people got sick from Legionnaire's disease and one person died. And in 2017, an outbreak of Legionnaire's disease near Disneyland led to 22 people getting sick and one person dying. Most of those who fell ill had visited the park and a health official later testified that mist from a cooling tower was the most likely source. Disneyland has denied this, saying that the outbreak source was not scientifically determined. And for more on Legionnaire's disease, including additional information on symptoms and treatment, just go to cbsa.com and click on the help button.